Hello everyone. Welcome to the today's session about RC time constant with capacitor. So we are going to discuss about the capacitor charging and discharging and we are going to simulate uh, with the help of uh, multi-sim software. So first of all, uh, we will discuss about the charging. So for the charging, we have the circuit. So I will draw the circuit here. So we are going to have a supply and uh, the supply that we are going to use is a square wave and uh, we will have a switch and we have a resistor and we have a capacitor. So here the resistor value is 15 kilo ohm and uh, we will have the capacitor as a 0 0.1 microfarad. For the capacitor charging, we have the general equation as a VCT is equal to VI or the supply voltage multiplied by 1 minus e to the power minus T over tau. plus V0. Okay, what is the V0? V0 stands for the initial voltage. So we assume there's no initial voltage across the capacitor. And so we can use this equation plus the time constant tau, which is equal to RC. So we have 15K, so 15 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by capacitor, which is 0 0.1 into 10 to the power minus 6 will result in 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 seconds or 1.5 millisecond. So we know the tau. So usually we say when it's charging, after 5,000 times, the capacitor will be fully charged. In the case of discharging, we say the capacitor will be fully discharged after 5,000 times. So now we will design the circuit. So in order to design the circuit, let's take all the components from here. So we need a ground. We need a resistor and capacitor. Use control R to uh, rotate the element. of the component. Then we need one more uh, part, which is switch. So now we took all the components so we can join it. Now what we need, we need our supply, which is a function generator. We are going to generate a square wave Double click and we are going to give the peak as a two volt. So it will be two four volt uh, peak to peak and the peak value will be two. And we are going to uh, use uh, 60 Hertz. So everything is set. So if you want to check this particular graph, okay, we will see uh, that by using the oscilloscope. So I'm going to use uh, Agilent oscilloscope. Let's connect over here and we will connect the input. And press this green color button, which is the run button. Double click on the oscilloscope, switch on the power. Okay, now it's a sine wave. So we need to set square wave. Okay. Two volts. Okay, so two plus two will be four. So this is the, uh, the center point. So in order to apply this signal, we have to shift the entire signal to the positive side. So I'm going to create offset of two. So you can see that entire signal is shifted to the up. So we have uh, the maximum voltage as a four and the minimum voltage as a zero. And when we apply the signal, to the capacitor okay the capacitor will charge during the positive and it will discharge during the negative cycle so we will uh, look at that graph so if you want to look at the graph we have to connect 
the channel two across the capacitor, then run the simulation again. Select the channel two, okay. The sec is not working, you can see that, because we haven't switched on the circuit. So what we have to do, close the circuit, okay. Now you can see the graph, we can adjust the voltage level in order to see a proper one. So charging, then discharging, charging, discharging. You can easy, if you have a one single pulse, so like you can see charging, here it's a discharging. So it will be difficult uh, to take these readings since we have the, uh, we have the you know, uh, analog uh, reading from here. So in order to uh, uh, do this transient analysis, we have another option, so which we are going to use next. You can go to the simulate and analysis and we have the transient analysis. Then go to the transient analysis and uh, select the readings. Then what we need, I'm going to select the output of the V2. Then you can press the simulate button. Okay then you can see the charging graph. So now we will go to the 1.5 millisecond, which is the time constant. At that time, the Y2 value is 2.5292. So let's see, we can do the same calculation. Now we know all the values So manually, we will find the value. So let's see, our equation VCT is equal to the supply voltage that is four maximum, one minus e to the four minus T over 1.5 into 10 to the four minus three. Now, what is the VC value? when t is equal to tau, which will be four, one minus e to the power minus tau over tau. So both will cancel off. So this will be minus one. So this value is equal to 2.52. And the value that we got from here is 2.52. Okay. So at tau, we reached the 63 percentage of the final value. So if you find 63 percentage of four, that is equal to 2.52. So after 5,000 times, we reach or the capacitor reach its final stage, that is it, it will be fully charged. So now we have the time constant 1.5 multiplied by five, which is equal to 7.5. So if we go to 7.5 millisecond, okay, at 7.5 capacitor reach, it's maximum, which is 3.9, almost four. So that's why we say after 5,000 times, the capacitor will be charged, fully charged during the charging cycle and during the discharging cycle, the capacitor will be fully discharged. Now, we can observe the change in these graph when we increase the frequency. So let's say the same graph. Now, the frequency is 600. Okay, so we will do the simulation again. Let me clear the screen. Okay, so you can see that, how the pattern is going for the 600 hertz. And uh, we will do it again for six. So 
so this is for the 6 hertz so you can see the difference between the 6 hertz 600 hertz and 60 hertz okay here the time taken for the capacitor to charge is the key fact why there's a change in these graphs so with that one i'm going to complete this capacitor charging and we will meet again with the capacitor discharging simulation